right, we are up here on a northeast facing slope on the shoulder of Mount Justice, right near Treeline. We've got about a four foot deep snowpack. Our mid-November week layer is down about three feet. There's noticeably less signs of instability on today's tour. No shooting cracks, no rumbling collapses. But we have a problematic snowpack structure. We just dug in a northwest facing slope a little bit lower and didn't get any results. But the slab seems a little stiffer as we moved up in elevation and into northeast facing slopes and the weak layer is more pronounced. New snow, old snow interface from last weekend's storm, but not enough of a slab to get that to propagate across the column. There it went. <laughs> okay, so we got it to fail with some pretty hard uh, taps from the shoulder. But you can see our sensitivity of the no mid-November week layer is going down but the resulting avalanche is gonna be three feet deep, one finger in stiffness, and it's gonna propagate hundreds of feet wide. So we're in this dangerous transition right now where we're not gonna get a lot of feedback from Mother Nature. Those obvious signs of instability are waning, but the consequences of triggering an avalanche in these deeper snowpack areas with over about four feet of snow on the ground is gonna be with us for a little bit. So it's best to rein things in, not test these slopes. All it's gonna take is to find one local shallow spot and there's plenty of them still out here even in the deeper snowpack areas and the resulting avalanche is going to be hard to survive.